Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a makeup tutorial. So today I wanted to recreate something that I actually posted on Instagram, except I just tweaked it a little bit and made it a little bit different. As you can see, this is a very cool toned, almost monochromatic makeup look because we have the gray on the lips, we have the blue on the waterline, we have the gray on the eyes, the blue, you know what I mean. I actually really like how this look turned out so I hope you guys like it as well and if you guys want to see how I got this makeup look then just keep on watching so as you can tell I've already filled in my brows and I also primed my lids because you guys see me do that a trillion times so I'm gonna take the Morphe 35k palette I really like this palette because it has a lot of cool toned colors at the bottom but you also have a lot of brown soft colors I'm actually gonna start with a soft brown just so I can use it as a transition color even though I'm using cool tone colors I'm going to add a little bit of brown in there I'm going to be taking this really light brown right here and I'm going to apply it very softly onto the crease I'm also gonna take my favorites blending brush this is the pro blending brush by beauty junkies Now that I have that color there, I'm going to go into a cool tone color. I'm going to take this blue gray color. It's very pretty, very creamy, and I really like how it looks on the crease. So I'm going to be applying that with this Pro Crease Brush. And again, this is by Beauty Junkies. Now I'm going to take this color called Linger and this is by Luxie Beauty. This eyeshadow is absolutely gorgeous. It's a cool tone gray and they're very creamy so a little goes a long way. I'm going to use that with the same brush and just deepen up that crease a tad bit more. For the eyelids, I'm going to take this NYX Glitter Primer and I really like this because it is a little bit sticky so any shadow that you apply, whether it's glitter or not, it's really going to adhere. I'm just going to take some at the back of my hand and then with this Luxie brush, this is the Luxie 212 Concealer Brush, I'm going to apply that to the eyelid. <laughs> And I'm going to take this eyeshadow by Luxie Beauty and it's called Malibu. It is just the prettiest icy blue with a little bit of gold green reflex. I actually want to tone it down a little bit so I'm going to go into this palette the 35k again and I'm going to pick up this blue it's more of an icy blue with gray so I'm going to be using this on top of that color I'm actually gonna leave the eyes alone for a while. I'm going to take, take I'm going to take the Becca Evermatte Poreless Primer and I'm going to be priming my face because I am oily. This just helps control my oil and a little goes a long way, so don't use too much. For my foundation, I'm gonna take the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation in the color Syracuse. And I've been loving this foundation so much, so I'm going to apply that with a flat top 
kabuki brush and I'm going to apply a little bit of setting spray just so I can moisten this a little bit. my concealer I'm gonna take the um, Maybelline Age Rewind and I took out way too much so Ugh. I'm going to take my Ben Eye banana powder and I'm just going to bake because I applied way too much. So I'm just going to bake underneath the eyes. While I let that bake, I'm going to take this Pure Cosmetics Press Mineral Makeup. Um, this is in tan. And I'm just going to set the rest of my face because with this smaller foundation, it is a tad bit sticky. So I do notice that I have to set my foundation with this foundation. What? Yeah, right? <laughs> For my bronzer, I'm going to take the NYC um, Smooth Skin Bronzer and this angled brush from Walgreens and I'm just going to add a little bit of color onto the cheeks. my cheeks I'm going to take this Sigma in the Saddle Aura, Aura powder I don't know how to say that word but it's just a really pretty it almost looks like a bronzer but I'm using it as a blush because I really don't want to use any specific color on my cheeks since I want to keep this pretty cool toned I'm going to go back to the eyes and I'm going to use the NYC liquid eyeliner and I'm just going to draw my regular wing. So for the eyes, I think I'm going to use actually blue because again, I just want to stick with a cool tone theme. Um, I think in the picture where I had this makeup look, I was wearing just like a creamy eyeliner, but I'm just going to use this. This is the LA Girl Glide Gel Eyeliner, and this is in the color Aquatic. I'm going to pick up a little bit of that gray color and I'm going to smudge it on the lower lash line using a flat brush. This is the Pro All Over Shader again by, let's see, or no, Beauty Junkies. Okay. I'm just going to curl my eyelashes so I can prep them for falsies. 
Um, I'm going to use the Vegas Nay Grabs and Glamour Lashes on today because these are my favorites. <laughs> So for my highlight, I'm going to take this Luxie Beauty Highlight Palette. Um, I'm going to take this color right here, which is called Flossy. And I'm just going to use that on a fan brush and just highlight my cheekbones. I'm just going to wet my beauty blender a little bit and I'm going to press that highlighter into my skin just because it does look like you're wearing something and I want it to look a little more natural. So for the lips, I'm going to try to wear this lipstick, see how it looks. This is the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip and Fluff. This is a cream finish. Let's see how it looks. If not, I'm going to go with something new. What do you guys think? very different I'm gonna leave it like this but obviously you guys can wear a nude lip let me just go fix this hair and then we will be done okay guys and that is it this is the final look on this very cool tones makeup look I really hope you guys enjoy it and as always let me know what other videos you guys would like to see next I love you guys so much please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you guys in my next video bye